Anton, the Villa fan, is dialed in. Anton, a very good morning. Morning, Anton. Good morning. Good morning, guys. How are we doing? Good, very mate. Well, good. Mate. Very well. What did you think last night, Paul? I thought England played pretty good. Um, you know, I, I do feel a bit sorry for Jack Grealish. You know, anybody would feel a bit sort of let, well, not let down, a bit deflated. But the thing is, it's a team game. Mm. And I think he's a, strong, he's a strong enough character to take it. I mean, he, he put something on on his, one of his social media pages about getting your England shirts out and getting ready for Sunday. So he's, he's there. And as you said, it's a, it's a good camaraderie. But I, I, I'm caught between two worlds. My dad's Italian. My mum's English. So oh. <laughs> you can't like, lose in me. You can't <laughs> lose. <laughs> I'm, in a win -win, I'm in a win-win situation. But, you know, I, I managed to get a ticket for the game on Tuesday night, which was great. I watched it last night at home. I'm going to watch it on Sunday. And... You know, made the best team win, really. Nice one, pal. Well done. Let me go to a West Ham fan who's called us. 087172 Simon's a West Ham fan. Simon, morning. Morning, Simon. Morning. Morning, morning, chaps. Morning, everybody. How are you, Simon? All good? Do you enjoy oh, last night? Yeah, <laughs> Um, do you know, I did. I, I have to be honest, at the beginning of the tournament, I was probably one of the few doubters around, but I, I genuinely believe that we now do have, after many, many years of, of having a squad that can go um, the whole way, I think Southgate is probably the best England manager we've had since Bobby. And, um, you know, uh, despite all the great players that we've had come through the England squads over many years, I think this is the first time that we've actually had a togetherness in the squad and everybody will work for everybody. And we've got players that can cover all positions. So, come Sunday, can we lose? Of course we can, but I don't think we will. Do you know what, Simon? It's, it's such a young squad as well. You know, when you think of the future... Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, yeah. the World Cup's just 18 months away in Qatar. You know, if England go on and win this, or even if they just fall short, everyone's got to be looking at Qatar, World Cup. England must have a big chance. I think so. And I think, you know, being a West Ham fan, obviously coming off the... Uh, riding the wave of, uh, of European qualification for uh, for next season and, and obviously watching Declan and, uh, you know, these, these players are amazing. Um, you know, Sterling, anybody that still doubts that that guy should be in the squad needs a head check in. Um, did I think Harry Kane would put it off this this time? I, obviously, the, the first three games, I wasn't so sure, but looking yeah. at now. No, know, absolutely. Simon, nice one. Thank you. Well done, Simon. Uh, by the way, Josie said, didn't he? Remember Josie on Talk Sport saying Harry Kane will be England's top scorer? He will come good, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And I think yeah. he was decent odds. I think we asked Simon, didn't we? And I think it was, uh, yep. I think it was about four to one now to be top uh, England scorer. So he's got four goals now. So if he can get a couple in that final, uh, he ends up with a golden boot, which after two games, you had, you would have said no chance because he wasn't out of the races really the first two games. But you can never doubt Harry Kane because the season he's had at Spurs, the goals he scored, he's playing a, de he's playing a lot deeper for Spurs in the Premier League last season. But, you know, even, even for, for the first goal, well, the way he just picked the ball up and put it into Saka's path was yeah. a brilliant pass, wasn't it, Ali? <laughs> I mean, tremendous. and uh, obviously Saka got in behind the, 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 the defence and put the ball across into a dangerous area for the own goal. But, do you, you know, know I, I couldn't I believe you can doubt uh, Harry Kane. Do you know what I couldn't believe, mate? Uh, the, the pass was superb, and so was the run from Saka. Mm. But I couldn't believe uh, was it Steger Larson switching off at the back post and letting Sterling come in behind him? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was shocking defending. Yeah. Well, I even really did. even there, well, both both white players for uh, Dan yeah. Mark went to sleep, didn't they? Both of them went to sleep. Yeah. That's the problem you got when you're playing against top quality uh, players. Switch you switch off, off yep. you're in trouble. And that's, like why, guys, that's why Carl Walker a lot of credit because yep. at times when the Danish got behind the fullbacks or got behind the uh, the defence, Carl Walker was always switched on, yep. and he managed to defend well. Uh, and and a huge credit. To, to Carl Walker on that, on that performance last night. He's been night. excellent. He has, Ali, yeah. just on the goalies, right? Let, let, let's, I don't want to be <laughs> negative, but I just want to... On, on the own goal, could Schmeichel have um, cut the cross out if he'd have thought a little bit quicker? Well, do you know something... Straight I'll along you, his six yard... You know, no, his, his, I'll tell you where I'm on it, mate. I'll tell you exactly where I'm on it. I, I actually blame the other fullback that I mentioned, and I'll tell you why. Because if he matches Sterling's run, he can be screaming at the big centre-back mm. that he's got the whole thing yeah, covered. yeah. So I, I think both fullbacks have got to take responsibility. I think the cutback's ex. I think the pass from Kane's fantastic. I think the cutback into the area is mm. superb because it's the best ball in the game, you know, right? But you're in front of the goalkeeper, but the goal the defender's facing his own goal. It's a nightmare. But I thought both fullbacks, 
get get yeah. caught, particularly Stieger Larsson. Uh, Ray Pickford for the goal. It was a side foot over the wall, got dip <laughs> on it, but it wasn't in the corner. I don't like to criticise players. I mean, Pickford has been superb during this tournament. You know, some of the saves he's made, and everybody was doubting him as much as Sterling coming yeah. into it. And I think he's proved a lot of people wrong. Maybe he can move his feet a little bit quicker. If I'm going to be, uh, I'm not a goalkeeper, but we've got David Seaman coming on. We can ask David to say, yeah. you know, would you have moved your feet a little? Because he's always going to go over that wall. Um, so the positioning wise, he might have been, could have gone a half a yard the other way, maybe, and, and maybe got a hand to it. But it was a great free kick. Let's give the guy a credit who yeah. scored the goal. And... and then they took the best two players off, Denmark. I couldn't believe it, Ali. Well, but Al. I mentioned it yesterday, mate. I'm telling you right now, see, see their, their, their uh, quarter-final tie in Baku. The heat was mm. absolutely outrageous, mate. And, and and the game itself against the Czechs was a brilliant game to watch. But you know something, Ray? Al, I've never watched a game where after... It was like somebody flicked a switch after an hour. The game just went boof. The players were fatigue, substitutes come on, and they get the, the pace of the game just dropped, eh, dropped dramatically. Mm, yeah. And I thought to myself, I wonder if the Danes will feel that. And I think, as we mentioned, I think they certainly did to a degree last night. You, you mentioned Pickford, Al. But how good was Michael as well? Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. oh, what a... Yeah. Look, he's, he's on a losing side, but a couple of saves he made. I mean, yeah. the Harry Maguire header. Harry, Harry plucked Brilliant. it out in that corner. He he was sent, he was brilliant. By the way, how much Denmark. of a threat is he looking at set plays? By the way, oh, Maguire. he's been uh, every, given class. Every free kick England got, Ray. Mm. I thought to myself, just put it in there. Well, they need to be Sunday it. night, won't they? He'll need to be in both ends he will. Sunday night. Cellini and um, what's Benucci. His name? Benucci. You mm. know, they they can jump, can't they? And they'll talk. The good news is the left backs out. Who, who yeah. got injured against Belgium? Because he's 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 had a very good tournament. Very. Oh, it's going to be some game. Can't yeah, wait. Will.